What a gorgeous nighttime view from high above the city of Atlanta. Welcome to Game 3, everyone. We're at 2-zip right now in the series. No panic, though, yet. It's the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Atlanta Hawks at State Farm Arena. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge joins us from the sideline. Hey, Dave. Well, thank you, Kevin. Clint Capella's game is based on activity. He said, I'm going to outwork you the whole game. Maybe it's not on social media, but it's efficient. I'm not thinking I want to look nice or I want to make a nice move. I'm thinking about dominating the paint. Guys, I'm thinking about dominating sideline reporting. <laughs> you already do. <laughs> you and he are winning players. David, thank you. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Longtime teammates Middleton and Giannis, the forward. Allen is out there with Matthews, and it's Ibaka in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Atlanta, Young and Bogdanovich, they have the guard duties. And in at the forward positions, Hunter and Collins. And it's Capella in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. You look at the Bucks. After taking care of business, Greg at home in games one and two. They have a chance now to put a stranglehold on this series. And Kevin, they'll be doing themselves a big favor with the win in this one. That would almost assure them a spot in the conference finals. But if they walk out of here with a loss, we'll have a whole new series on our hands. Changes the picture, you're right. Collins dishes to Capella. Matthews against Bogdanovich. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. This is his first free throw of the game. Good, Bogdanovich. And so he hits both.
what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. And here is Allen. Hope loose. Gano's with it. Now guarded by Bogdanovich. Here's Giannis. Oh, that's blocked. And putting that 7-2 wings can to good use. Hunter can be an elite defender if he keeps working it. Capella high post. Bogdanovich passes to Young. And here's Collins. He's covered by Matthews. Collins kicks to Young. Shot clock at five. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, just exceptional focus on these hard finishes. Young welcomes getting physical on the way up. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Carter, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And that one falls for Young. Averaging about 30 points and nine assists per game during his second season. Trey Young was named an all-star in 2020, solidifying himself as a franchise player. And out of the Kumbo with the basket on the assist by Matthews. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Young against Carter. Rebound, Milwaukee. Matthews up top. Now the pass to Middleton. Giannis with it. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Pass to Ibaka. And stolen by Bogdanovich. Collins in the post. He's covered by Matthews. Collins dishes to Hunter. Outside Bogdanovich. And it's blocked. Young against Carter. To the inside. Here's Giannis. That one falls coming off Carter's feet. You know, inside Giannis's length really helps him get by the defense. Not much they can do to trip him up or slow him down. He's a force. Now, oh, here's Hunter. On its way from Young for two. The Hawks again can't hit. They're one of four here to start looking to get into a flow offensively. Carter, the pass to Ibaka. Over Young. And another basket for Milwaukee. And you got to worry about Ibaka everywhere. Inside, beyond the arc, and the mid-range. He'll find that spot to beat. Young against Carter. And Young kicks to Collins. Pass to Hunter. It's all about it's a Kumbo. Middleton outside. And it's DeAndre Hunter with the foul. That's his first foul. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Now here is Carter. Out of the Kumbo, trying to break loose. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Collins. The Bucs shooting their first free throws here for the night. Carter had 
leads them both. The Hawks trail by three. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. They look to start a new streak after losing on Monday. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. And you know what? If you're not going to outwork your opposition, then you typically are going to get outplayed. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Trains the three-pointer. Bogdanovich has got five. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Carter against Collins. Carter kicks to Giannis. Back to Carter. Lock at six. Kick out to Giannis. Right at the free throw line. And no good. And Atlanta will come the other way. Inside, here's Collins, and it's good, two points. And that's two tough points from Collins, willing to mix it up down low. Carter looking around. Stolen by Collins. Outside, Bogdanovich. And the rejection by Giannis! Young against Carter. Out to Ibaka. Here's Middleton. It's blocked. And they hit it back. Just three to shoot. Here's Carter. Good on the 13-footer. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for Atlanta. Down low. Rebounded by the Bucks. Wesley Matthews on the wing. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Carter, the pass to Matthews. Ghana is with it. He's picked up by Collins. Carter kicks to Ibaka. Five to shoot. Takes the three. And it's Carter missing. Hawks have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Capella, and he gets the bucket. Sheer power there from Capella. Not an easy guy to contain when he's going up with the shot. Carter up top, defended by Young. Outside, out of the Kumbo. He kicks it to Middleton. Giannis. And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdowns. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. One of the most explosive young bigs we have, Collins quick off the floor and gets creative at the rim. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. For Atlanta, they've gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Young pass to Bogdanovich. Passes it to Collins. by Carter to the paint here's Matthews good and the assist goes to Middleton and it's a three point Milwaukee lead Matthews strong and confident able to finish through tough defense there shots are just flowing for him right now having a really strong court the Bucks have gone 7 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter out of the Kumbo finds Matthews now here is Carter and there's the pass to Giannis. There's the drive. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. That's now eight points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Young against Carter. Outside Bogdanovich. 
Pass to Hunter. Rebound, Giannis under the Kumbo. Bucks leading by three. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. Free throw good. Honest. You know, if we didn't quite grasp Antetokounmpo's potential coming into the league, it didn't take long to see that he is really a generational talent. I mean, he's blown us all away with his athleticism and skill set. And I would add to that his work ethic, too. You can tell he's really worked on his body and his game. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Here's right. Pass to Herder. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Defense just not strong enough to throw him off his shot there. Sometimes it takes a little more effort to defend him down low. Here's Hill. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Really terrific work from Hill. Angling his body perfectly on the shot and forcing the defense to act. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Shoot two. The free throw drops for Hill. And in my opinion, Hill is simply one of the best perimeter defenders in the league. While he's not that tall, he's got exceedingly long arms, and he does a great job using that length to dissuade passes and to challenge shots. No free throws. Good from Hill. The Hawks trail by six. Right with it. Into the lane. And the shot goes in. Boy, a nice drive that time from right. The defense didn't have a chance to counter. Hill dishes to Antetokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And the Hawks with possession here after the basket by Milwaukee. Clock at four. Let's it go from the wing. The shot by Okongwu. No good. Bucks leading by six. Middleton outside. Passes it to Giannis. From ten feet out. Johnson with the block. To the middle. Here's Herder. It's deflected. And he's able to get it back. Or the defensive hustle there by Middleton. Stretching out and getting his hand on that shot. Excellent effort. Connaughton passes to Andacumbo. Over right. Again, Giannis missing. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. Now here's Middleton. There are nights that Antetokounmpo can reach a level few have in NBA history. The MVP feeling it tonight. Alonaro surveying the D. Over Hill. Rebounded by the Bucks. To the inside. Oh, tried to dunk it home, but drew the foul, and he'll go to the line. And, you know, at almost seven feet tall, Antetokounmpo 
is it's dangerous down inside, really. I mean, the defense has to be physical with him if they want to have a chance at preventing him from scoring in the paint. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. down the first one. Yeah, and early on doing a really nice job at the free throw line. Yeah, getting to the line and converting, that's the big thing. It's always good when you can do that because it stabilizes your offense. Throws good from out of the combo. Here's right. We've got 118 left here in the opening quarter. And Johnson now top of the key. And it's sent back by Hill. And Hill once again demonstrating that wingspan of his. I mean, he has one of the most impressive wingspans in the game which helps him an awful lot at the defensive end. He can guard bigger players because of that. Lopez, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Here's Herter. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. The Hawks have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. First free throw is good. Milwaukee making a switch. Wara checked in. So he makes both from the line. 102 left in the first quarter of the game. Hill looking it over. The pass to Lopez. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. The up fake from Lopez working to perfection. For Milwaukee, they have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. the first yeah, you, you just have to be more disciplined I mean too many fouls and free throw attempts for the opponent you know it's one of the things coaches like least is giving away points I mean they've been a step late they've been caught reaching they've got to tighten things up at the defensive end and both free throws good for Lopez well he's got a great stroke from the line that's not something we can say about all the league's big guys has to go on. Over Hill. And it's Gallinari missing. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Inside, the kick out to right. Six to shoot. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Here's Gallinari. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. And with good height for a wing player, Gallinari gives defenders problems down low. The offense coming free and easy as we wrap up the first quarter. 
Bucks ahead, up six. We'll be back shortly live from State Farm Arena. And now we hear from Giannis, spelling out his key to staying confident. Yes, I'm going to tell you the secret. Get off social media. That's it. Just spend time with your family, spend time with your teammate, and just come here and do your job. I think uh, you don't second guess against yourself. You know, you just go out there and play hard and uh, give everything for the team without thinking about nothing else. Ah, good way to do it. Tuning out distractions. That makes sense. And it can be harder than ever nowadays. Engaging with fans and the media can be a positive, but you got to focus on what matters most. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference Semifinals. And for the Bucks guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there. Gallinari is out there with Okongwu. Then it's DeJuan Wright. Then it's Johnson. And it's Herter in at the two. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. And they've repeatedly plugged inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Right against Allen. Pass to Lopez. Over Johnson. Lopez passes to Nora. Gallinari outside. It's blocked. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Portis. Here's Herder. Now, here's Okongwu. Just five on the clock. And a miss there on the triple. Milwaukee leading by six. Bucks passing it around. Allen against Gallinari. Passes to Connaughton. Up top, Portis. Allen for the three. A shot that time, not on target. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Gallinari passes to right. Now Gallinari. Over Allen. That's Gallinari again missing. Here's Nora. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. With the drive. And it's sent back by Okongwu. Young's checked in for right. The pass to Connaughton. Six on the shot clock. Beyond the arc. Okongu grabs the ball. Yeah, but the defense was determined not to give him an inch of free space. Onari with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. The fader. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Here's Connaughton. Off the mark, and the drop continues. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Here's Okongwu. That's in, coming off the assist from Young. Young's got three assists now in this one. Milwaukee leading by four. Allen outside. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Down low. Here's Okongwu. And it's sent back by Lopez. You can see Lopez tracking that shot the whole way. Nice awareness from him and 
a terrific rejection as well. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, indeedy. Well done. That's a nice play there. Not going to miss many from there. Allen passes to Portis. Here's Lopez. Aston Moore takes a three. It's rebounded by Herter. Herter's got four rebounds in this game. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down to just two points on the bucket from Young. Agile move by Young with the defender right in his face. Slipping past the contact and getting it to go. Now here's Lopez. Allen outside. Pass to Connaughton. It's up a three. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make a pay. Here's Gallinari. And Gallinari throws it down. And how about the ferocious take? Gallinari proving he can drop an absolute hammer when he wants to. And it's sent back by Okongwu. Gallinari outside. Passes it to Young. Here's Okongwu. Defended by Allen. And it's sent back by Allen. And it's out of bounds for the Hawks as Atlanta retains possession. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. Collins comes in for Gallinari. Hunter's checked in for Johnson. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for Kevin Herter. Young against Carter. Shot clock at six. Young passes to Capella. Over Carter. They get it again. Hunter. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Hunter's got his first basket of the night. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches who used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Carter against Young. The pass to Hunter. Collins against Carter. From 11 feet away, that one off the back iron and out. Milwaukee leading by three. He dishes it to Matthews. Feeds it to Ibaka. Over Hunter. Ibaka, no luck. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Hunter dishes to Bogdanovich. Robbed up there for Collins. Lopez with the block. To the paint. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Able to just go right over the top. I mean, the big man, Lopez, doing work. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Offline with his three. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Bucks. It's a five-point game. Allen outside. And another three for Milwaukee. That's a nice play. Getting the separation he needs for a clean look. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. Young, good. He has gotten into a great rhythm here in, in this quarter, playing with just bundles of confidence. Collins against Allen. Pass to Ibaka. That one falls, coming off Carter's feet. Carter's got five assists tonight. Oh, yeah, with a hand in his face, no less. Inside, Ibaka uses his long arms to convert through the contact. Now, here is Young. Nine points in the game so far. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Javon Carter. That's his first foul. Giannis, he's checked in for the Bucks. Chris Middleton comes in for Allen. Outside, Bogdanovich. Now 
down to five on the shot clock. Here's Young. And the rejection by Ibaka. The size, the timing of Ibaka. Taylor made for protecting the rim. George Hills checked in for the Bucks. Milwaukee leading by eight. Middleton looking it over. Here he goes. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Capella. Over a 7-4 wingspan for Clint Capella. That's long, folks, and makes him an intimidating shot block. Middleton for three. And really, Hunter can guard every position. This is something that makes him incredibly valuable. Cohen's finds Young. It's thrown by to Jacumbo. Out of bounds. Atlanta takes possession. The Hawks trail by eight. Young outside. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to Young. A baseline J. Green for two points. Young's got eight here in the quarter. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. Pass to Middleton. Dishes it to Giannis. Middleton trying to break free. That one good for two. Andre DeCumbo's got the lead up to eight now for the Bucks. Young for three. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Kumbo kicks to Ibaka. And here is Hill. Back to Middleton. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That is his first foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Now here is Young. 14 points for him. Kicks it to Collins. Young against Zana de Kumbo. Let's it go from 11. And there's Collins on the assist by Hunter. Now just a three point Bucks lead. And how about the awareness Hunter possesses? Understands when one of his guys has an opportunity. Here's Hill. It's tipped. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling far too much for jumpers. Yeah, that's a good observation on your part. Fewer free throw attempts for them this quarter. And the danger is they can't afford to get too comfortable out there because they've got the lead. Otherwise, it might start to get away from them. Down low. Here's Yuck. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Young outside. One oh two left to play here in the half. Outside Bogdanovich. Four on the clock. Basket counts. Fifty one seconds left in the first half. Here's Hill. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Hill maintaining his balance there. That's a tough and one finish by the fundamentally sound guard. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Atlanta making a switch here. Lights checked in.
There's 45 seconds left in the first half. To the middle, here's Hunter, and he lays it straight in. Uh, with a number of moves and shots to choose from, Hunter is scary. Nice bucket there. Middleton up top over Hunter. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Atlanta's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Here's Wright, score the basket, his second of two attempts. That's just a good example of Wright taking what the defense gives. I mean, why settle for an outside shot when there's room to work inside? And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. The Bucks have made a mistake at the line yet 10 of 10. throw good Giannis and both free throws good for Giannis Bogdanovich with it. Seven points in the game. Launches a three. They get it back. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. So a tie game here as we finish the first half. It's time now to go court. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. checking out Atlanta, they're facing a second half that will either put them on the brink of elimination or breathe new life into this series. One thing's for sure, they can't let this game get away and expect to have a decent chance to rebound from a 3-0 deficit. Kenny, what was your take on Atlanta? This is what the home fan loves to see. Their squad coming out and putting together strong performance. We'll see a couple individual standouts, but what really stand out is how hard they work and how they're playing together. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Milwaukee. Their unselfishness has kept them in the game. Just look at the assist numbers. Guys are making cuts. They move with the ball freely. You look to see the offense function like a weld oil machine. Sort of like myself. We're back with you, all set to bring you more action from Game 3. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. Well, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steals. Well, I thought it was a great defensive performance for him so far. He's aware. He's alive. He's alert. Quick to react to everything that's going on around him. Can't do it much better than that. And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinals. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. And forward, they have Middleton and Giannis. Matthews out there with Allen. And it's a bucket in at the five spot. On to Takumbo with the bucket. Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Young against Allen. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Got a hand on it. Matthews finds Allen. They got him on the arm, but it still can. Nice work at the line so far, going five for five.
free throw. No good for out of the Kumbo. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. Young pass to Bogdanovich. Fires from deep. A three-pointer is right on target. Bogdanovich has got 10 points in the game. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Young against Allen. Matthews left side. Here's Middleton, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Middleton's got his second bucket of the night. Well, I like the fact that Middleton takes advantage of the mid-range jump shot. When he gets room to pull the trigger from there, he's taking it, and he's almost automatic. Now, here is Young. 14 points for him. Rebounded by the Bucks. Giannis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Allen shot is off. Total breakdown from the defense there. I mean, he'll usually take advantage when that's the case. Collins dishes to Capella. Young against Allen. Six to shoot. Here's Bogdanovich, and it's blocked. To the inside. Stolen by Collins. And Bogdanovich gets to Capella. Back to Bogdanovich. Young against Allen. And Young, here we go. He's looking for Hunter and finds him. Takes it from 10. Rebounded by the Bucks. Ibaka's got five rebounds tonight. Allen, the bounce pass. Middleton, the pass to out of the Kumbo. And it's to the... Now, oh, here's Hunter. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Here's Young. Capella trying to free himself up. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And tonight is why Young is an all-star. He's got incredible scoring ability. Trey can shoulder the load on that end. The Hawks shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. That one drops. He ties it up. The Bucs have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Giannis passes to Matthews. Ibaka right side. It's stolen by Capello. Young against Stanley. Pass to Hunter. Over Ibaka. And the Hawks getting another basket right there. Playing to his strength. Hunter there knows he can rise up and knock it down pretty much over anyone. Here's the pass to Ibaka. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Here's Middleton. Boom! He chains it straight down. I think Middleton wants to send a message with his dunks. I mean, when he's sprinting to the hole like that, you need to just get out of the way. Now, here is Young. He's got 17. Look at, look at the big fella working on that possession. He knows how to fend guys off and get those rebounds. And Trey Young gets the whistle that time. And that'll be his third foul so far. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Colin Ari, he's checked in for DeAndre Hunter. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. After the Kumbo finds Allen. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Trey Young. It's his first trip to the line. A 
that free throw, no good. Wow, well, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. Milwaukee making a switch here. Wara checked in. He hits the second from the line. Even with the miss, he got the big one there to put him in front. Atlanta's gone three of six tonight when they let it fly from downtown. Here's Young. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Back to Allen. The Bucks working the ball around. Here's Lopez. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Herter. And it's blocked. Matthews finds out to Jacumbo. It's Allen on the wing. Defended by Young. Allen passes to Lopez. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Lopez has got eight points. And at that range, hey, hard for the defense to really affect that shot. I mean, Lopez is just too good. How Young. He's got 19. It's tipped. And the rejection by Giannis. Just five to shoot. Second shot opportunity. Colinari wide open. Packs in coming off the assist from Young. He's got nine. Set him up. Knock him down. Colinari's a rhythm shooter. Looking good on that one. There's the lob at the Kumbo. Yeah, nice silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feed. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Guys, I hope we get to see a few more of those. Atlanta calls timeout. For the Hawks, Okongwu's checked in for Collins. And it's right in for Trey Young. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Wesley Matthews. Out to Gallinari, three-pointer. Milwaukee with a rebound. Yeah, and close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here's Connaughton. Lopez dishes to Giannis. Here's Connaughton to the wing on the left. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. And the Bucks with some changes. Portis comes in for Brooke Lopez. And George Hills subbed in for Grayson Allen. Right with it. He's picked up by Hill. Capella kicks to right. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, you know, you've got to really appreciate DeLon Wright's uh, relentless desire to get better. I mean, this guy's constantly trying to hone his craft. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. one falls so he hits both of them the Bucks train on to Dekumbo looking over the floor out left of the wing here's Connaughton lock at six the kick out to Hill a floater and he lays it up and in Hill's got seven Boy, the precise placement by Hill with these floating jumpers, that's a hard shot that he's mastered. Pass to Gallinari. Oh, 
Let's it fly from 18. Warnock grabs the board. The Bucs have gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. Portis in a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Clint Capella. Good Portis. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. Grayson Allen comes in for George Hill. And Portis drains both of them. And so it's right. Bringing up the ball for the Atlanta Hawks. Trailing by two. Here's Gallinari. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Uh, you know, he's almost the perfect defensive player. He's got length and strength, and he's athletic. And Giannis plays the game hard all the time, too, which is impressive. Right outside. Lob pass to Capella. Nice floor awareness that time from right. Spots the gap and then finds the open man. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. Allen in the post. Capella's there. Allen passes Giannis. And stolen by Okongwu. Passes it to right. Back to Gallinari. Over Allen. And it's Gallinari missing. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Love the read there from Antetokounmpo. I mean, his basketball IQ is really impressive when it comes to alley-oop attempts. Now here's Wright. Six points for him. Here's Hurt. Misses in close. And here is Hunter DeCumbo. Over right. Rebound by the Hawks. Herter's got his fifth rebound in this one. It's stolen by to DeCumbo. Allen with it. Six points for him. Middleton outside. Inside. And that's good from Ana de Kumbo on the assist by Middleton. Middleton's got six assists now in the game. Right with it. And Allen picks him up defensively. Right the pass to Herter. Now the feed to Capella. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on Giannis Ana de Kumbo. You know, it's really hard to match up against Clint Capella's height and length. I mean, sometimes you got to foul. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bucks? Well, guys, I really like how they've driven the ball to the basket in this game. I mean, they've Take been very aggressive break. with it. Two shots. And you've always heard of guys being in a zone shooting. But you can be in a zone passing the basketball. And we've seen that tonight as well. That's good from Capella. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Hunter's checked in for the Hawks. Bogdanovich comes in for Kevin Herter. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Um, you know, he was born in Switzerland, guys. Clint Capella's had quite the journey to NBA stardom. I mean, started his pro career in France, and he was a late first-round pick in 2014. Now here's Wright. He's got six. Bogdanovich passes to Capella. That one drops for him. Nine points for Clint Capella. 
Never easy trying to stop Capella. The closer he is to the basket, the more dangerous he becomes. Allen passes to Ports. And Connaughton has it in the corner. And the pass to Ibaka. Five on the clock. Over Bogdanovich. Ibaka, no luck. Atlanta's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. For the lead. Bogdanovich, no luck. Milwaukee in the lead. Ibaka right side. Back to Portis. Bucks passing it around. Now here's Allen. He's got six. Over right. The second chance effort. And that one's good from Connaughton. Connaughton's got his second bucket of the night. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And it's good for two. Hunter's got four points this quarter. A solid mid-range shooter. Hunter knows where his strengths are. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Middleton. Hunter with some nice defense. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. Capella finds Bogdanovich. For the lead. That shot missing. Giannis on the Kumbo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Bucks. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we'll be right back after this. Head coach Nate McMillan is mic'd up along the sidelines. Let's check it out. Hey, what we got to do here. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. And in at the forward positions, Hunter and Collins. Young and Bogdanovich, they have the guard duty. And it's Okongwu in at the center, filling out the middle. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Allen outside. Back to Ibaka. Portis kicks to Allen. Atlanta with the rebound. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. And they have scraped and clawed to get back into this thing, just chipping away little by little and finally now taking the lead. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Hawks. Their high-energy defensive lane. effort has paid Find off the for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. And so it's Milwaukee now. A two-point game. Al Allen. Ibaka outside. Wesley Matthews on the wing. Over Bogdanovich. A shot missing. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Ibaka against Collins. Here's Young. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Young's got 21 in the game. Crafty move there by Young, finessing his way around the contact. Here's Middleton. It counts, and the foul. That's on DeAndre Hunter. Tell you what, guys, this has clearly been his hat. I mean, he's getting to a spot, shooting the ball with confidence. Excellent turnaround for us. Lopez, he's checked in for Serge Ibaka. And the former second-round pick now has put a lot of work in on his game. I mean, a ton of work. Really carving out a nice spot in the lead as a result of his hard work. 
Now, here is Young. 11 feet away. The rebound by Middleton. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the board, we're certainly seeing the effort. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Allen against Young. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. You know, improving on certain aspects of his game, it's crucial. Young continues to knock down these tough interior shots. That one falls for Young. And Joe Allen will bring it up for Milwaukee. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. He kicks it to Matthews. I'm deep. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Young against Middleton. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. And Middleton with the block. Allen passes to Lopez. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that. And the Bucks lead by one. The Atlanta's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Hunter on the wing. Okongwu dishes to Hunter. Here's Young going inside. Banked in off the glass. Young's got seven points here in this quarter. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Middleton against Hunter. Middleton can't get it to go. The Hawks have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Bogdanovich passes to Hunter. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got three assists now in this one. Outside Matthews. Looking to get back on track here. Rejected by Young. And we talk about the many ways Young affects this game. Shot blocking rarely comes up. But it's a testament to his hustle and determination. So it's the Bucks now. They trail by three. Back to Middleton. Just five on the clock. Here's Portis. Here's Bogdanovich. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Okongwu's now got the lead up to five now for Atlanta. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Collins against Middleton. Pass to Portis. It's blocked. Bounce pass Young. Here's Collins. Great D that time for Middleton. Bucks trail by five. Outside Matthews. Stolen by Collins. Okongwu dishes to Collins. Count that one. 13 points for John Collins. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And a wise move to call timeout there. 
Uh, they need to settle down a bit. They've been playing out of control at times here, and it shows with their turnover number. Alinari, he's checked in for the Hawks. Giannis, he's checked in for the Bucks. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to listen to what Mike Bodenholzer told his team during that timeout. He said, guys, we don't want to play hero ball. We don't want to take threes that aren't there. There are better options when you run the offense all the way through. Never will see if they can make that adjustment. Thanks, David. First free throw is good. And Allen drops them both. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. It's to Gallinari. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Shot from the wing. And right through it goes. And the Hawks lead by seven. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Bucks. Floats it up for Giannis. Hammers the alley-oop through. Middleton, a scorer by nature. That time showing you he can find his teammates, too. Feeds to Gallinari. It's so bad to Kumbo. To the middle. Fade away. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Now it's just a three-point Atlanta lead. To the inside. Here's Collins. Got a piece of it. Allen surveying the D over Young. Allen shot his off. Early on, he tried to shoot his way out of this funk. But later in the game now, he might want to just give it up and look for his teammates to do the score. Matthews with it. And Young picks him up defensively. Golinari with the steal. To the paint. And stolen by Portis. Allen against Hunter. And he'll have a chance for a three-point point. That's on DeAndre Hunter. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. Yeah, we call that playing through the whistle. You know, he didn't give up on it when he heard the whistle. He kept his focus, his concentration, and he found a way to get the shot up and down. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Gallinari. Tied up with that one. Hawks have gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Atlanta again missing. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Matthews passes to Giannis to take the lead. Atlanta with the rebound. Young's got four rebounds in this game. Passes it to Bogdanovich. Nice to the hoop. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. For the three. And the three ball is good. And the Hawks lead by three. He's starting to heat up from outside. That's a second this half. Out of the combo, kicks to Middleton. Driving the lane, a stupendous finish in traffic. Really like the energy of Middleton. I mean, 
He drives to the hole so hard. I like that force that he goes to the basket. With. Young passes to Capella. The dish to Hunter. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Down low. Stolen by Collins. To the inside. And the dunk by Capella. How about the force from Clint Capella? When he's got good position inside, he's throwing it down. Allen finds Matthews. Middleton against Collins. And you know what? He had to clear some space for himself to get that rebound. Not an easy one there among the big boys. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Now here's Allen following the missed shot by DeAndre Hunter. Bogdanovich against Allen. Six on the shot clock. Ready by Bogdanovich. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Capella, the pass to Bogdanovich. Kicks it out to Collins. Hunter on the wing. The wing jumper off target. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Count it, and the Atlanta lead has been cut down to one on the bucket from Allen. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Capella dishes to Young. Takes it inside, and Middleton with the block. Matthews against Young to take the lead. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, Matthews so confident in these spots. I think he loves making these big shots. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for the Bucks. Wesley Matthews has made himself an efficient scorer who also has gained a reputation as a good defender. Young against Allen. Young, who? Young's got the game tied up here for the Hawks. Game tightening up, no problem. Put the ball in Young's hand and let the young fella go to work. Matthews, no one around him. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. Yeah, he recognized the overcommitment by the defense there and then made a smart pass to get that ball back outside. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Despite getting hacked there and big on the back end to hit the free throw. Here's onto Takumbo. There's the lob at Takumbo. You know, feeling very comfortable taking a big shot when his team needs it. That's an that's a sign of how Anka Takumbo has matured recently. Here's Young. Oh, and he pops it off the glass. Wow. Ibaka outside. He dishes it to Allen. Connors against Collins. Connors no good. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. He lobs it up. Money! And pressure doesn't get to Collins. Baskets like that prove how locked in he is. Now oh, here's Young. Giannis is double. It falls! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one to. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. 
They're trailing by two. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. There's 42 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Young, it drops. And tie game, that is a huge basket right there. So calm when the game is on the line. Young knows it's his job to bring this game home. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. It's tied at 109. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. So it's Milwaukee with it. Allen passes to Adekumbo. And the rejection by Collins. And that shows you a bit of Collins' all-around game and why he's so valuable at both ends of the floor. Now, here is Young. No good that time. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. It's tied at 109. 19 seconds left in the fourth. seconds left in the fourth quarter. Allen outside. The pass to Giannis. Good! And in addition to his great talent, Antetokounmpo has the reputation of being an outstanding leader as well. He's a clutch player who demands the ball in these situations. You love that. Timeout called by Nate McMillan. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, and the only chance here is a lob at the front of the rim. A tip in to tie the game. There's not enough time to get a catch and shoot. So a close game sees Milwaukee taking this one. You have to think at this point, up three zip. It's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. Uh, you know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout this game and this series, I'll be... David, thank you as always. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.